TV3, first in news, best in entertainment. Well, it's not a surprise for me, Speaker. Bagbin was on the side of the law. I think that the service to the Speaker was even wrong in the first place. I mean, to me. Who should the service have gone because to? Because the order of the court was specific. The order directed EC to uh, conduct fresh election. The order nullified or annulled the election as conducted by the EC. So it has nothing to do with Speaker. It, it, he, he doesn't have to come in in any way. So his letter was right. Two, and very importantly, if you look at the content of his letter, he referred to a stay of execution which is pending before the court. So you can't again fault him because he's, that's the law. The, the practice is that once a stay of execution is filed, it operates as a stay until same is dismissed or otherwise. So, yes, as we speak, Mr. Kwesin has filed a stay of execution pending the hearing of his appeal. You said the letter to Speaker Bagbin was wrong. Should the, le the letter actually even be coming from the Electoral Commission instead? No, I don't think the Electoral Commission must even write to Speaker. Neither do I think that the court's process should have been served on the Speaker. There are parties to the suit. And by that, the orders are to be executed in these specific terms. It's different from somebody dying. If somebody is dead, you write to speaker, then the speaker would declare vacancy. It's also different when someone crosses carpet. If somebody crosses carpet, speaker would declare vacancy. If is somebody the resigns. Is there legal undercurrents that make this challenging for Mr. Speaker to pronounce? I won't accept the word undercurrent. The position of the law, specifically, there's a stay of execution. Once there's a stay of execution, Mr. Speaker cannot do anything. In any event, there was no mm, obligation on him to do anything. The obligation was on EC to act. So really, the enforceability of the order was rightly at the doorstep of EC. I would say that serving speaker was merely superfluous.